Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays and welcome to part five of my island living Let's Play. It's New Year's Eve and Kira was just floating on her back making a New Year's resolution about how she'd like to get a significant other and Makoa invited her over to his house. And even though she knows he's married, she did get a kind of little leap in her chest at that invitation. So she's not reading anything into it and she does really love Liliana as well so obviously she doesn't want to go there but yeah she's she's excited that she's been invited over she's never been invited over to the house of one of the other sims before so I'm just going to have her actually get changed just because I don't think she really needs to be in her swimmers not that the everyday wear is really that different but that's okay so Oh, there's another wiki here. And a little one. Who are you related to? Oh, are you? Is this your little girl? I'm going to give a friendly introduction. And I'm going to do an inside joke with Makoa, who's now running off to go swimming. Great. Ooh. We have a great reputation. Hi, pleased to meet you. He looks super unimpressed. He always looks like this around us. I don't understand why he invited her over. Oh, now he's laughing at me. Like, oh, remember you invited me over here. Not the other way around. Oh my god, seriously. I was going to flatter you and be kind, but I'm going to gossip about the neighbors. What a cute little one, Nani. She's so beautiful. Snibara Watanini. Gopita. Karenzi. Clearly, yeah. Okay, this isn't working out the way I would have thought. Is Liliana home? I love the house. It's so beautiful. Let's just have a quick look. So we've got the main bedroom here, which has no external windows. That's weird. I guess when you're living in a house with no actual windows, if you want some privacy, then having a completely indoor room is the way to go. Uh, we've got a little bathroom here, the toddler's room, and I don't know whose room this is. I didn't think that they had um, extra people living in the house. Maybe they do. Uh, what? Sweetie? Really? You're going to have a shower? Okay. Can we maybe just use the bathroom instead, yeah? Where is that? Oh, they've got one. Of oh, I see. Ah. So you can rinse off all the sand. That's actually really cute. But go use the bathroom first. You need that more. She wasn't prepared for this. She wasn't planning to be invited to someone's house. It's 8.15 8 in the evening and... Mako is out talking to his toddler. Like, I don't even understand why he invited us over in the first place. Like, that's weird. I don't understand why he invited us over. If it was just to be bored and then run off and go swimming, like, I don't... I don't get it. Is that Liliana? That's the wiki that I don't know. I'm a bit confused. I think I might have Kira go home, honestly, because <laughs> this isn't what she had in mind being kind of invited over and then brushed off. Makoa's been really hot and cold with her. So she's going to be like, all right, thanks for the invite, but I'm going to head off now. So maybe I'll go to the bar. <laughs> maybe there'll be people there that we can hang out with. It's New Year's Eve. I suspect there's no TV there. No, we're not taking Makoa with us. He was weird. He kind of was like, eh, come over. Yeah, come hang out. Did he just want babysitting? I reckon he just wanted babysitting for the toddler while he went for a snorkel. Hmm. I want to like him, but he keeps, like, doing things that I keep thinking are, like, yeah, it's just a bit rude. Anyway, she's going to get changed into something different. Oh, this is her party outfit. I'm going to change her into that. Her new island party outfit. Okay, she needs some fun. We are here and we are going to have some fun. A couple of people we don't know. Fetia Parata and Anel Parata. I assume that they are together. I'm going to come over here and I am going to order a drink. Singles night drinks. I am single. I didn't know it was singles night. 
but I'm going to get a cream cola. These two don't look single. Where are the single people? If it's singles night. Don't understand. Can I have a cream cola, please? Thanks. Uh, I'm going to have a friendly introduction to the barkeeper. Ah, squeamish good and hot-headed. Is this our friend? This is Derek. Hey Derek, how you going? I'm going to try and cheer him up because apparently he needs cheering up. Whoa, I don't even want to attempt her surname. Pania, I've encountered the name Pania before, but yeah, well, that's how I say it. Oh, it's okay, Derek. Don't be sad. Oh, it's a fairy. Who's this guy? <laughs> He's really cute. He kind of walks like a gorilla, though. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, he got upset with me when I tried to cheer him up. Obviously, my cheering people up game is not on point. <gasps> it's her. She's here. Hey! How are you? She's making faces. What's the matter? You're tense. Why are you tense? Oh, wow, that was rude. There are so many of these Parata people here. Are they all related? I don't know what's going on. I want to go and introduce myself to the fellow with the ears. Actually, I really want to talk to Liliana and say, so what's going on? All right, let's go and introduce ourselves to him. No, we're not doing that. Hi! Clumsy and mean. Can I have talked to her about why she's so tense? Maybe get to know? Uh, I'm going to sing about New Year's Eve. So, what's up? Would you like a toast? We'll blow the horns. I just want to cheer her up. She seems super stressed. Yeah, <laughs> Have a bit of a gossip. We're counting down to New Year's Eve. How? Oh, a tiny little TV. Oh, I guess we can watch the countdown then. Look at the crowd. This is cute. We're all shishubing together. And I can even, like, see the screen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love his mobile. Come on, let's get it over with. Here we go. Three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! All right, I'm going to do a friendly introduction to this person. I actually really want to have a talk to Liliana about being invited over and then him being so, like, bored and kind of rude and stuff. But this isn't the heart-to-heart -heart I exactly had in mind because they're kind of shouting at each other from across the bar. So, I think you guys are great and can we maybe sit and, can we sit and talk, please? I just want to sit and talk just for a minute. Um, sit together. Come on. So, Liliana, let's talk. I feel like your husband doesn't like me very much. Oh, you know, he's just, you know, that's just Makoa. Okay, but why did he invite me over and then, like, completely brush me off? It was a bit weird. Like, I don't understand. You know, you guys seem great and your kid is really, really cute and I really like you, but I just feel like Makoa doesn't like me. Oh, you know, he's fine. He's fine. He does like you, I promise. He's just, you know, that's just Makoa. Okay, so I shouldn't read anything into it. No, definitely don't read anything into it. That's just him. That's who he is. 
Okay, well, thanks for the talk. That's made me feel a little bit better. I'm going to do a cheerful introduction to this person over here. And did I introduce myself to this person? I didn't. I wanted to because I'm fascinated by that mohawk. Wow, they're totally making eyes at each other, aren't they? Hey! It's raining. That's the way to see in the new year. Uh, Len, Len, no. Is that this guy? No. <laughs> I'm getting all these people mixed up. I don't think I got anything about this guy. No. He is an unknown. Let's get to know. I'll just do it the old fashioned way. Ooh, we've changed seats, Kira's obviously, you know, liking the ripped shirt look or something. So, tell me about yourself. Did you have an incident with a shark? He's self assured. So, why are you all so, like, ripped up and stuff? He's like, you calling me ripped? Ha 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 ha, so funny. <laughs> Ooh, he's a child of the islands. He didn't kind of warm to her in the same way that most sims do, which is the same thing that happened with Mikoa, actually. Maybe that's just a sign of people she should avoid. I know for real it's whether or not I choose the friendly interaction, but I want to get to know. It was not to be. I'm going to have a gossip. I'm going to enthuse about dogs. I'm going to spread some conservation awareness. Oh, and sharp. confess my fear oh. of vampires because I've had a bit to drink. <laughs> Discuss fitness techniques. Uh -huh. Speaking of drink, uh -huh. she's going to have another drink. All right, yes. she's going to Typical. order another drink. Uh, order her favorite. I don't know what her favorite is. Let's find out. Most people have left now, including the beautiful lady. It's a bit miserable out there now. Kira's feeling super inspired. Chima Rimple, Gorg. Vampires scare me. Yeah, Vlad was at my house like a couple of days ago and he tried to bite me. Uh, ooh. Apparently that's the thing. Oh, Alicia, it's her again. Lady who keeps slapping me. I don't like her. She's running around naked. I'm judging her. Is this lot a get naked lot? All right, what's her favorite? What's her favorite? I need to know. Her favorite is sweet and spicy. Or not. That was someone else's drink. Her favorite is what a heft beer. What a heft a beer. Hmm. Interesting. Can I get some food? I'm hungry. Can I get fish and chips? That'd be great. Thank you. Although all of the people that she knew have left, so she's kind of on her own now. I mean, she could make new friends, like this guy here with the earrings. Loario. We'll do a friendly introduction to him, and a friendly introduction to her. And a friendly introduction to him. Let's just be like, hey, and be super friendly <laughs> with everyone. Dag. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, thanks. Happy New Year to you, too. <gasps> you know what we should do? I have all these fireworks. Is it still raining? I'm going to come out here and light fireworks for New Year's Eve. It's happening. These are all leftovers from a festival that she, went, or she and her mum went to ages ago. Man, I keep pinching these conch shells. I keep blowing them and then they're not for me, but I managed to like humor and hijinks. I don't know if I should have them that close to each other. Actually, I'm just going to spread them out. That could be bad. All right, come on, let's do it. And she's had a couple of drinks, so it's definitely time to do fireworks. I feel like this is a great way to end a part with New Year's Eve, honestly having a few fireworks in the inventory and, you know, letting rip. Hey, Happy New Year! 
dog lover mean and erratic? Hey, she's a dog lover. That's cool. And all right. Whoa. Yes. Happy New Year. <gasps> Who's yelling at me? Uh, no. You don't get to yell at me. Just brush her off. You don't need her. Just be like, whatever, girlfriend. No. You can go away now. <laughs> Focused on being a cow. Is this one not going to work? I didn't do anything. That's all right. Last one. Ah, that's cute. All right. I feel like this is a good place to end this part. The main development from this part, I think, is that Kira has got a New Year's resolution to find love, obviously, this lady not so much, because she's rude and we don't really like her very much. And they're both like, eh, you suck, giving each other thumbs downs in their conversation. Let's just, let's just not talk to her anymore. Like, you don't have to talk to people who are, like, rude. We can just be like, no. I'm going to say goodbye. It's got to be a goodbye here. There we go. We're going to go home. Is there anyone in here we want to talk to? Not really. Anyway, she's been up all night and fortunately she doesn't have work for a while. But I'm going to end this part here. Uh, if you've got any thoughts on the kind of relationship that Kira could look at pursuing. Uh, she is bisexual, you've probably guessed, so she'd be happy with either a man or a woman as a partner. But at the moment, all of the people that she's felt like maybe she had a connection with, they've even a non-romantic connection, have kind of been a bit disappointing. Like Makoa in particular, she's quite upset by. But, you know, there's still hope. There's still chance out there for her. So, yeah, if you've got any thoughts on that, leave a comment. If you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, you know the drill, and I will catch you next time.